Now let's talk about the different kinds of lights that we have inside of Twin Motion. Uh, before I start talking about the types of light which we have inside of Twin Motion, I would love to talk about the light types that we have. We have lights that are embedded into objects, and we can find those lights if we go over to Furnitures, City, and down to Street Light. If I will click and drag out one of these here and turn the time of day to say sometime in the evening like this you see that it begins to emit light I'm going to also bring in another one so that we can look at the both of them you see they begin to emit light the reason is because objects like this have um, materials attached to objects that they have inside of them that allows them to emit this type of light good now the second kind of light or would I say the main kind of light that exists in basically every 3d app and every rendering app are lights that are not visible to the camera at the point of rendering but they are used to cast light on other objects so we're going to look at those in a second if I go up all the way to the library I'm going to see a folder called light now if we click on light we see the different kinds of lights that we have this kind of light exists in most 3d applications and can be used to light up your scene in various ways the very first one is called the omnidirection light which means that this light casts in every direction regardless of where it is being positioned so if we can position something like this here and it's casting every single is casting in every single direction also we have lights known as the neon lights they are like the omnidirection light the only difference with this light is they are rectangular we also have lights like the spotlight which just like the name uh, suggests it is a spotlight it's a light that casts uh, in a given spot we can look at this spotlight let me go over and drag it out a little bit okay so it casts light there as well each of these lights have various properties if we turn on shadows and say we want the shadows to be on all it simply tells the light is the light should be able to cast shadow so I'm going to use the omnidirection light which we have here and turn shadow on and now you see we're having shadows here we have day cycle turned off which means now that it's the daytime the light is still casting but if we turn day uh, cycle on once it's daytime the light goes off and if we turn it off once it's daytime the light is on irrespective of the time of the day other things we can look at is we can look at the radius so we can increase how much uh, influence we want the omnidirection light to have and we can also look at reflection how much we want it to bounce off we can also play with the intensity this is totally up to you and what you're trying to achieve at the end of the day with your project also we can go through and change the kind of colors or the color we want our lights to emit so if i push this you see we're beginning to have this blue tint to our scene and if I push it all the way down, we begin to have this uh, more like a warm feel to our scene. I'm going to hit more and select this. And let's say we want to have a green feel to the scene or let's say some purple feel to the scene. All you have to do is just select the color picker and choose uh, what color you want. So finally, I would say take your time and go through all of these features and see which one works best for you and apply them in your projects also in some situations you might want to have an object emit light there's also a way you can go about that so what we're going to do I'm going to go all the way up and go to furniture select primitive and let's get a box this is this is a large box so i'm just gonna get a smaller one so let's put this box somewhere here so i'm going to use material picker and select the box 
and as we can see here our box has a color of white I would like us to change the color of the box so that we can see what's going on I can now click on setting and turn glow all the way up now you turn this all the way to the eve of the day you see our box begins to emit light I'm going to move this box to some other area just to make it much more visible so in the same vein we can also turn on a uh, time of day for the box so maybe we want the box to be emissive in the night and not in the daytime we can come here click on more and turn this on now when we turn this on and move our uh, time of day all the way to let's say the afternoon like this we can only see the box but once we start turning it all the way down to the night time the box begins to glow so this is how you can apply a light or glow material to your object just in case you want to make a custom light for your project other ways you can still apply light to your project can be with preset materials that exist already so i'm going to scroll down all the way to neons and i'm going to look at the neons that are existing already i'm going to click and drag let's say the neon smooth blink and let's apply it here so now i've applied it you see we have neon material uh, being applied to our object now this neon they also have uh, properties of their own which we can play with you can choose to increase the speed and you see it the neon light is flickering a little bit more you can turn the speed all the way down so it doesn't flicker we can also turn the glow down so it glows a little so this is how you can play with light i would advise you play with them have fun with them and create awesome stuff hi before you click the next video on the top right corner of the screen if you like what you've just seen click on the like button and hit the subscribe button don't forget to turn on notifications so that you get updates next time we upload a new video